The HP72 DCXL High Voltage DC High Pop Meter is the first battery powered high pop meter used in utility industry. Beer engineered and designed this tool from the request of several utilities to safely perform a low power high voltage integrity test on de-energized 15 kV rated underground residential cable. What always sets beer apart from other manufacturers is the safety features built into every product we manufacture. The HP72 DCXL is no exception. First, notice the 100 dB audible alarm located on the side of the HP72 DCXL. The loud tone will alarm the user if a 50 volt or greater potential is in close proximity to the HP72 DCXL. In this demonstration, the bushing on the left is energized to 7,200 volts phased to ground, and the bushing on the right is de-energized. Notice when we go to insert the tool into the left bushing, it alarms before we force contact inside the bushing. Go to the bushing on the right is de-energized, so no alarm is present. In addition to the alarm, also notice the tool has a very similar appearance to our voltage detectors by incorporating a probe. This probe contains a high voltage resistor encapsulated in epoxy. This one-of-a-kind safety feature affords the utility peace of mind in the event accidental contact is made with an energized line. In fact, the HP72 DCXL is the only battery powered high pot tool with an incidental direct contact voltage rating of 40 kV. Connecting the battery and battery replacement is an extremely simple process. Notice the bottom has a replaceable insert to utilize any manufacturer of 18 volt DC industrial platform batteries. So in the event your utility changes a battery manufacturer, only this piece is replaced and not the whole tool. Located on the opposite side of the alarm, the on-off power switch utilizes a spring-loaded, covered off position. This ensures the tool cannot be easily and inadvertently turned on while the battery is inserted. On the face of the tool is where the tool energized red LED light is located. This gives the user a secondary visual indication if the tool is in the on or off position. The live line tool fitting is where the user will attach an adapter for their preferred stick attachment. Notice the meter scale goes from 0 to 100%. A 0 or near 0 display would represent a cable that is able to maintain an 8 kV charge. A 100% or near 100 would represent a cable that has a bolted fault or has extremely low impedance, caused by the cable being extremely long or degraded from age. Before we begin testing, we want to test or verify the battery is in good working condition. In our demonstration, we're using a Milwaukee battery platform and can perform a self-test by depressing the test button on the face of the battery. We recommend the HP72 DCXL only be used if at least one bar is lit. Obviously, the more bars are lit, the longer the tool can be used. If the tool is going to be used for extremely long duration of times, we recommend using a battery rated at higher than two amp hours. After we test the battery, we can begin installing the necessary accessories such as our bushing adapter, part number ABS. A universal adapter is attached to the live line tool fitting if a universal stick is used. Or a grip all adapter is attached to the live line tool fitting if a shotgun stick is used. Once we have attached all the necessary accessories, we can insert our previously tested battery into the battery attachment. Simply slide the battery into the attachment until a click is heard and the battery is engaged. With the battery and accessories installed, perform a self-test by connecting the ground lead to the bushing probe pin and turn the tool on. A full or very near full deflection of 100% represents a good test. If the tool does not deflect 100% or very near 100%,
verify the battery charge once more or the condition of the ground lead. All four of our demonstrations will occur in our test yard between two PMEs located here and here in relative close proximity. Our training yard was all de-energized at the time these tests were performed. Please use all precautionary measures dictated by Utility Safety Department. Bearer highly recommends testing for potential with a tester such as our VD-1000. At all points, the HP72DCXL will be used at. Our first test will represent a bolted fault, as demonstrated here by the far end PME cable on a feed through with an elbow ground attached to it. On the near end, where the HP72DCXL is located, connect the ground lead to any good system ground connection. With the ground lead attached and the HP72DCXL in the off switch position, connect your preferred stick attachment and insert the tool into the de-energized feed-through bushing connected to the cable to be tested. With either the stick being used or your gloved hand, turn on the HP72DCXL to energize the tested cable. Remember, this test represents a bolted fault with the far end grounded. We should expect to see an either 100% or near 100% needle deflection. Leave the tool connected at least for 30 seconds to verify a discharge does not occur, demonstrated by a bouncing needle. In our next demonstration, we're going to connect a 50 kVar capacitor in series with our de-energized cable to be tested. We are also going to create a high impedance fault by creating a fault gap in near proximity to ground. This type of high impedance fault is best demonstrated by only using an analog meter such as the one used on the HP72 DCXL. With the ground lead attached and the HP72 DCXL in the off switch position, connect your preferred stick attachment and insert the tool into the de-energized feed-through bushing connected to the cable to be tested. With either the stick being used or your gloved hand, turn on the HP72 DCXL to energize the tested cable. Remember, this test represents a high impedance fault with the far end connected to a high capacitance and fault gap. Every discharge of the cable can be seen by the needle bouncing between a non-charged state and some potential the cable can handle before a discharge occurs. Being able to visually observe a high impedance fault is exactly why Beerer uses an analog scale and not a digital graph where very little distinction is possible. Our third demonstration will represent a good, very long cable possibly over a mile long. We are again connected to the 50 kVar capacitor to represent the capacitance experienced in a long URD cable. With the ground lead attached and the HP72 DCXL in the off switch position, connect your preferred stick attachment and insert the tool into the de-energized feed-through bushing connected to the cable to be tested. This type of test demonstrates it may take some period of time to fully charge a long URD cable. Since full scale or 100% deflection of the needle represents 50 microamps of cable leakage, the utility can determine how much leakage is present by evaluating where the needle stops on the scale. Notice, this test demonstrates an approximate leakage of one third the scale, or approximately 17 microamps of leakage. This type of information can become valuable data if a utility wants to determine the quality of any particular URD cable over time. Our fourth and final test will represent a good, short URD cable, something a lineman would see in a normal subdivision scenario. The far end of our test is left open and clear on our feed-through bushing so we are only testing the cable by itself. With the ground lead attached and the HP72DCXL in the off switch position, connect your preferred stick attachment and insert the tool into the de-energized feed-through bushing connected to the cable to be tested. 
Since this cable is extremely short and obviously good, the HP72DCXL very quickly charges the cable to full potential, almost before the analog meter has time to react. I have zoomed the camera in and performed the test again so the quick toggle of the needle to zero can be seen demonstrating a good cable. This concludes our Beerer HP72 DCXL high pop meter demonstrations. We hope this tutorial of properly applying this tool can safely assist you and your utility's troubleshooting needs for URD cable. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to let us know by contacting Beerer by phone at 803-786-4839 or by email at customer underscore service at Stay safe and we hope you have a great day.